What's that flashing? We're losing it electric shield. Both trap yourselves in. I'm gonna make a jump to light speed. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, light is the fastest known object or the physical limitation of our universe. And contrary to what Han Solo says, it's actually impossible for us humans to surpass the speed of light. This is because an infinite amount of energy would be required to achieve the speed of light. Now you might be wondering, why would we need an infinite amount of energy to reach an already determined constant speed? This is because objects approaching the speed of light experience time very differently to us. Let's take a look at one key concept in Einstein's theory of relativity, time dilation. Time dilation refers to the phenomenon where time appears to pass at different rates for observers in relative motion to each other. To explain time dilation, Einstein uses a theoretical device known as a photon clock, where a photon bounces between two mirrors at a constant speed. Let's say that this clock is on board a car, and another man is viewing the clock from afar. When the car is stationary, both people will perceive the clock moving at the same rate. But when the car begins to move, Einstein says that from the observer's point of view, the photon will begin to take a longer path in comparison to when it's just moving up and down. You don't believe me? Let's watch that one more time. Now let's take a look at the equation, speed equals distance over time. Einstein says that the speed of light is constant in all points of time, but since the distance that the photon travels increases, it'll take the photon a longer time to complete each bounce. So from the observer's perspective, since the photon clock is taking longer to complete each tick, it effectively looks as though the car is slowing down in real time. However, it's also important to mention that from the car's perspective, the clock is ticking at the same rate as when it was stationary, and time passage is normal for them. So this is what Einstein meant by time is relative. And we know our videos move at the speed of light, but some science textbooks definitely do. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Lots of us want to learn stuff, but it's just too boring. Brilliant is an online platform that teaches topics ranging from AI to science in the right way. Brilliant uses short, interactive lessons that can be done in less than 10 minutes per day. I love their scientific thinking course, which explains tons of interesting science with real-world examples, which get you to that aha moment even faster. They allow you to go from a basic understanding to flexing to all your teachers that they're actually way more than three states of matter. You can sign up to Brilliant to get 20% off an annual premium subscription. That's a lot. And try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days. Visit brilliant.org slash techsplains, or for the ultimate easiness, click on the link in the description. Yeah, it's right Right there, you can learn all those states of matter for free for 30 days right now with Brilliant. In Einstein's theory of relativity, he also derives what's known as the Lorentz factor. The Lorentz factor is used to calculate the time dilation for an object traveling at high speeds relative to an observer. In simpler terms, we can see the relation in how much time passes for an object traveling at high speeds when one second passes for a stationary observer. For example, if the car is traveling at half the speed of light, the gamma value would be 1.15. This means that for 1.15 second that passes for the stationary man, only one second passes for the man in the car. Now, when the car is traveling at 99% the speed of light, the gamma value would be 7. This means that it'll take 7 whole seconds for the man watching, before 1 second actually passes for the man inside the car. And at 99.99%, the gamma value would be 70.7, .7, meaning that while 70.7 .7 seconds passes outside, only 1 second passes for the man driving. And as we get closer and closer to the speed of light, these values increase exponentially, until at one point, an infinite amount of time would need to pass for the man watching before one second actually passes for the man inside the car. This means that from the observer's perspective, time passage has completely stopped for the car. <laughs>